Good morning. A journal today that was recorded on uh, March 26, 2010. A few weeks ago. It was the third one of the day. The Mayan day was for storm. It's called Science as Religion. Oh boy. This is a strange one. I have the title already. That usually scares me a bit. Why? Well, that's easy. I don't trust the mind. The day mind starts writing these things is the day I quit. So anyway, back into heart for me and into trust. I'm okay. I know I'm okay. It's just that mind is such a tricky bugger. Gotta watch it. And I do. So then, I noticed in going over my videos, one with the title, Science as Philosophy. Though tempted to go listen to it to get a refresher on what it's saying, because, trust me, the titles don't hardly cut it, I resisted. Nope, I'm not giving the mind the privilege of wiggling in here, so we'll wing it. Science as Religion. Those are harsh words. Yep, and that's how I meant them. How many can see with me how we've all but made a god out of science? We bow down and worship that god regularly, too. Outside the purview of science? Then it may as well not exist. Does it argue with currently accepted science? Then it's judged and criticized or, even worse, give it absolutely no attention. What a lousy, rotten place to be, this worship of science. You do see, don't you, that this is the worship of mind. How can we not see this? Look again. This is mind up there, playing God. Now, this is to be expected of mind, of course. It is not mind's fault. That's just what mind does, wanting all that attention and reverence and such, wanting to be the leader. That's just normal. But us falling down and worshiping mind, well, that's another story, and one I don't like to tell. I wish it was some other way, like maybe heart doing the ruling. But... Oh well, it is what it is, and I accept. That doesn't stop me writing about it, though. Guess you've noticed. So, are you then a worshiper of science, that is, of mind? Care to take a look at that? A closer look? Go ahead. Check it out. If some big-name scientist says it, does that make it true for you? Do you just accept that? Do you even question it? Be honest now. Don't lie to yourself, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Mind will have you lying to yourself, too, you know. Yeah, it has some pretty mixed-up values, like me first. Pretty much everything else plays second place to that one. Me first. I'm right. I'm best. I know. Look at me. Yep, that's mind, all right. Then, when you as as ascribe to values like that, and do consider here, you've got way more values than you know or know of consciously. When you have values like that, it just makes sense that you'll do pretty much whatever to support them. I mean, that's your reality. You don't want to see that puppy shot down now, do you? Well then, you lie. Oh, and mind is a slick one, too. It hides the lie from you, like you didn't really do it. Puts it in the subconscious, the unconscious, anywhere but in clear view. That's why you've got to scrabble around and scrap sometimes to get to the truth of things, of your own friggin' beliefs, as in things. They hide like that. So, anyway, be in heart. It's not so bad, really. And I just lost my place.
pardon me for a moment. It's not so bad, really. It's actually quite nice once you get to know the lay of the land of the place. Yep, this kingdom of heart just turns everything around somehow, makes it all look better, so much better. So remember, if you're condemning or criticizing, if you're upset or fearful, if you're judging or thinking or any of that stuff, you're not here then. That's okay, though. It only takes a moment, just a thought, an intent, really, and you're back in the kingdom of heart. See you there.